Hey guys! In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a nail polish swatch book. Inside this book, you can document and organize all of your nail polishes for easy reference when you're choosing the colors for your next manicure or nail art design. You can even bring it to school to show your friends your favorite colors. So let's get started! The first thing you'll need is a notebook. You can use any type that you want. This is the one that I'll be using today. So you're going to want to decorate the cover of your book to personalize it and let everyone know what's inside. To do this, you can draw, paint, print something from your computer, or use stickers. I chose to use these cute nail polish bottles that my friend drew for me. Next, I'm going to mount it onto some white cardstock. To do this, I measured what size I wanted it to be in relation to the bottles and the book. Then I cut it out. Now I'm using my trusty glue stick to glue it onto the paper. And here I'm rounding off the corners using my scissors to give it a softer look. So I wanted to add a little more color to make the cover pop, so I'm mounting it again on leopard print scrapbook paper. You can find all kinds of amazing papers like this at your local craft store, and they're available to buy individually. So once that's done, I'm gluing it onto the cover of the book. Ta-da! Now it's time to name your book. As you can see, I've called mine My Nail Polish Book. Yep, that's a pretty standard name. You can be more adventurous if you want. Now for the inside. Gather up your polishes and swatch each color inside the book. While the swatch is drying, add its name underneath it. Continue this process until you're finished. Make sure the polish has dried before moving on to the next page. You can organize your polishes in many different ways, by color, brand, season, or type of polish like glitters. Just remember to leave room at the end of each section if they're not in random order, because you'll need the space when you purchase new polishes for your collection. And that's it! This book is really fun to make and a neat little thing to have and share with your friends. If you create your own, please show me using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a nail art design featuring the mutated purple minions from the movie Despicable Me 2. This super cute manicure incorporates googly eyes to easily create a cool 3D effect. So let's get this cute polished design started. Start off with a base coat and then paint all of your nails two thin coats of a purple polish. Next use a striper or toothpick to create some thin lines near your cuticle for the hair. You can choose to do this in either a light purple or a darker purple. Next use a black striper to draw a line across the nail for the goggles. You can easily do this by keeping the brush still and slowly rotating the finger. Then create a black tip using the same technique. Draw some little jagged teeth for the minion using a toothpick and white polish. Use a black striper to create a thin line at the bottom of the teeth for his mouth. After your design has dried, glide a generous amount of a fast drying top coat over the design and quickly place a googly eye into the wet top coat using tweezers. Gently tap the eye into the top coat with your finger. So cute! If you don't have any of these googly eyes, you could use a dotting tool to create an eye for him instead. 
For the rest of your nails, you may choose to leave them purple, add stripes or polka dots, but I chose to use this color show glitter that I featured in my August Monthly Favorites video. And that's it! I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to show me your recreations using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! Hey guys, today I have a really fun video. It's a super easy design that's amazing for the spring and summer. The rainbow colors are just so fun and bright, it really makes this cute design pop on your nails. So let's get this cute polished design started. You're going to start off with a base coat, of course, to protect your natural nails. I've already applied mine, so I've moved on to the second step, which is painting your nails white. Next, you're going to need a dotting tool and a toothpick. If you don't have a dotting tool, I have a video linked in the description box below for you that shows you other items you could use to create different size dots. So essentially what we're trying to achieve here guys is a rainbow gradient using only dots. You'll want to start with the purple and make a line of dots going across the nail. It's best to use different size dots because it really adds to the design making it more intricate and interesting to look at. So you continue on repeating this process with each new color. Try and keep the spacing similar between all of the dots so it looks clean and neat. When doing this design on all of my nails, I like to dot the purple over all my nails first and then move on to the blue, green, etc. This helps to save time during your manicure. So once you're finished your cute and colorful dots, you'll want to finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it for this video guys! I hope you enjoyed this simple yet fun nail art design. Please share your recreations with me and let me know in the comments below if you have any design requests. Take care and I'll see you next hey time! Guys. Today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite products from this month, so let's jump right in. First up is this classic red polish from Essie. It's called Fifth Avenue and it's the perfect red with hints of warm undertones. This polish would create a lovely manicure for a date night and it only requires one coat because it's so pigmented. Next up is this amazing polish from Knockout Cosmetics. How cute is this bottle? I'm completely in love with the packaging. If you look closely, the bottle has the word flat written on it because it's a matte polish. I've been wearing this color with neutral outfits, as it gives a wonderful pop of color and the matte finish is so chic. One of my favorite glitters this month is part of the Selena Gomez collection from Nicole by OPI and it's called Confetti Fun. A pretty fitting name seeing that this polish is like a bottle full of fun and colorful pieces of confetti glitter. Layer this polish over a plain manicure to transform it into a glitzy party on your fingertips. The next polish that I've been loving is this baby pink polish from L'Oreal in the shade The Palace Life. This is one of the polishes that I used to create last week's Pretty in Pink nail art design, which by the way, you guys have done amazing recreations of. This color is so pretty and girly and requires only two coats to get the color solid. So guys, I'm really, really obsessed right now with this polka dot collection from Maybelline Color Show, especially this one called Clearly Spotted. The polish is full of little black and white hexagons in different sizes. It reminds me so much of cookies and cream ice cream. And as you can see, I'm currently wearing this polish today layered over OPI's Alpine Snow. A striper that I've been loving this month is the Stripe Right one in yellow. The reason that I'm loving it so much is that the color is so pigmented that it easily shows up over any color with just one stroke, even black. If you're looking for a classic nude polish, this one from Sally Hansen has been my favorite this month. It's in the shade Royal Blush, and it has this huge brush in it so you can cover your whole nail in just one stroke. Nude polishes help to give the illusion of longer nails and fingers, and are the perfect color for the office. Another Sally Hansen polish that I've been loving this month is this beautiful coral color called Coral Reef. I've been really into coral this spring and summer, and this polish is very easy on the wallet and it's highly pigmented. Revlon Moon Candy. Oh, how I adore this polish duo. 
This one is called Moon Dust and it contains black polish on one end with gorgeous flakes of iridescent glitter on the other side to layer over the black. This is one of my most recent favorites and I know I'll definitely be wearing it throughout the fall because the result is just so dark and mysterious. My favorite base coat this month that has been protecting my natural nails has been Sally Hansen's Diamond Strength Hardener. And I've been sealing in my designs all month with Essie's Good To Go Top Coat. This is a brand new bottle because I just finished my last one. I've been keeping my cuticles moisturized by using Lush's Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. It's a thick cream that's handmade at Lush and smells like lemons. I just use a tiny bit for every finger and massage it into my cuticles to help keep them soft and healthy. I've also been loving this hand sanitizer that smells like s'mores. It reminds me so much of summer bonfires. The hand cream that I've been loving all month is this one from Bliss that has macadamia oil and grape seed extract in it. I use a little bit during the day, especially after washing my hands, to restore moisture back into my skin, leaving them silky soft. For cleaning up around my cuticles after polishing, I've been seriously in love with these iTees cotton swabs. As you can see, the reason I love them so much is because one of the ends is pointy. This gives more precision when cleaning polish from your cuticles. The other side's great for quickly removing polish from your fingers. Every now and then, I like to buff my nails to give them a smooth surface by using one of these four-sided blocks. These mini ones can be found at Sephora and come in packs of three. I've also been loving these makeup sponges by Spa Resource. They're one of my favorites to use for nail art to create awesome ombre and gradient effects. Finally, these adorable midi rings have been a love of mine all month. Aren't they awesome? They sit just above the knuckle. And there you go, a bunch of my favorite products from August. What have you been loving this month? Let me know down in the comments. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys! Today I'll be sharing a really fun and bright floral nail art inspired by doodles of flowers on a notebook. This design is really easy to do and all you'll need is a sponge and a toothpick. So let's get this cute polished design started. Begin by painting your pinky yellow, ring finger and thumb white, middle finger light blue, and index finger coral. Next, take a makeup sponge and sponge some of the coral polish onto your white nails. Do the same with the light blue. And finally, the yellow. Clean up around your nail with polish remover. Next, dip a toothpick into black polish and begin working on the flowers. I like to draw a half circle first for the middle of the flower and then add a few big petals. These are flower doodles like you would draw on your notebook during class, so they don't have to be perfect. You want them to look homemade so they have a cute cartoony look to them. I find the best way to use a toothpick with polish is to stipple it lightly onto the nail. This means that you're dotting up and down quickly. Continue to create flowers over the colored patches. Then add a few small leaves and open white spaces. Finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! You now have a fun and bright nail art design that's perfect for summer. Please share your recreations with me using the hashtag floral doodle. Take care and I'll see you next time!
Hey guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a really fun emoji nail art design. Because who isn't obsessed with emoji right now? Let me know down in the comments which emoji are your favorite to use. So let's get this cute polished design started. For the first nail, we're going to be doing one of my favorites, the happy tears emoji. Laughing so hard, you're crying. Begin by painting your nail yellow and then use a black striper and slowly turn your nail to draw a straight line. Then attach a curved line beneath it for the mouth. Next, you're gonna wanna fill it in. Once you finish this, draw two curved lines above the mouth for the closed eyes and then two more curved lines above that for the eyebrows. Use a white striper to add a line for the teeth. Make sure to leave a small gap between the top of the mouth and the teeth. Last but not least, we're going to be using a dotting tool or a toothpick to add in two light blue tears. Use a stippling motion for best results. Add the finishing touches by outlining the tears with a blue striper to really make them pop. And that's it! Just finish off with a fast drying top coat and you're done! The next nail is the heart-shaped eye smiley. Pretty much my fave emoji to use when I see your recreations. Begin with a yellow nail. Then use a dotting tool to drag red polish down the nail. Drag the polish again from the other side to create an easy heart. Then repeat the same steps on the other eye. For the mouth, we're going to be doing the same thing as before. So draw a line across the nail and then draw a curved line beneath it. Finally, you're going to want to fill it in. Ta-da! Finish off with the top coat. For the middle nail, we're going to be doing the happy face with his tongue stuck out. Begin by painting the nail yellow. Next, use a black striper to add a small curved line, and then another one on top of that to thicken the eye. Repeat the same steps for the other eye. Then roll your finger on the table to add a big curved line for his mouth. Use a dotting tool or a toothpick to stipple a little tongue in light pink. Add the finishing touches by outlining the tongue with a pink striper. And now it's top coat time! Next is the blowing kiss emoji. Begin with a yellow nail as per usual. Then use a dotting tool or a toothpick to add an oval eye. Next use a black striper to add a curved line for the eyebrow a small curved line for the winking eye, and another longer curved line for the second eyebrow. <laughs> Lots of curved lines. For the mouth, do a zigzag line. Remember to lift the brush and change the angle for each line. Finally, add a little red heart using a dotting tool. Finish off with a top coat. The last nail is an easy one, a basic big smiley. Begin with a, oh you guessed it, yellow nail, <laughs> then use a dotting tool to add two black eyes. Rotate your finger to draw a straight line for the mouth, and connect a curved line beneath it. Then fill it in. During this step, you can always correct the shape if you need to. Finally, add a white line inside the mouth for a line of teeth. Finish off with a top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine, and that's it! You are done all five emoji from this tutorial. A super cute look for texting, tweeting, Instagramming, oh all that fun stuff. Speaking of which, don't forget to share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish so I can find them. Don't forget to subscribe for more nail art videos. Take care and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, looking for some cute and easy nail art designs for Valentine's Day? Well, you've clicked on the right video, because today I'll be sharing my ultimate guide to Valentine's Day nail art. That's right, here you will find 10 different designs to fall in love with this Valentine's Day. You can choose to do them all, or mix and match a few. Let's begin with some red lips. To create the kiss on your nail, first paint your nail a light pink. Next, use a dotting tool dipped into red polish to create the top of the lip. To do this, create a lowercase m across the nail. Then join a curved line beneath it. Finally, thicken the lips while still leaving a space between them. Seal in your kiss with a top coat and you're done! The next design is a cute Valentine's cupcake. To begin, paint your nail a solid white. 
Next, use a big dotting tool and pink polish to create a row of dots across your nail. Then use a smaller dotting tool or a toothpick to paint a curved line from one side of the dots to the other. Then fill it in. Use a red striper to add the bottom of the cupcake. Draw a few vertical lines beneath it like so. Then carefully rotate your finger to add a horizontal line. Top off the cupcake with a big red heart. Slide the dotting tool down twice to easily create one. And finally add a few sprinkles with a hot pink striper. Then finish off with a top coat. Next we are going to be working on some pretty red roses. Begin by painting your nails a pale pink. Then use a dotting tool to add a few big dots over the nail. Next use a toothpick dipped into red polish to create some squiggly lines inside and around the big dot. Don't overthink it, just add some little lines over the dot and it will turn out great. Then do the same for the other roses. Use a green striper or a toothpick to add leaves. When using a striper, just dab the very tip onto the nail. Seal in your roses with a top coat. Next, get your toothpick ready for some cute ombre hearts. Begin by painting your nail white. Next, use a toothpick and a pale pink polish to create a heart. To create the hearts, gently pull the polish downwards and diagonally twice. Here you can watch me do this a bunch of times. Try practicing this technique on paper first and you'll be pro in no time. Choose a darker shade for each row to create the ombre effect. Finish off with a top coat and you're done! XOXO! Next, I'll show you an easy way to write kisses and hugs over your nail. Begin by painting your nail red. Next, use a big dotting tool to create two large dots. Then, use a white striper to carefully cross two diagonal lines for the X's. Use a smaller dotting tool and red polish to finish the O's. And there you go! Just add a top coat and you're finished! The next design is a cute love letter. Begin by painting your nail white. Use a black striper to draw a diagonal line coming down from the top corner of your nail. Next, reposition your brush and continue that line in the opposite direction. Then draw a line coming up and almost meeting the middle, along with another one on the other side. Use a toothpick to create a little red heart on the envelope. Finish off with a top coat and your letter is ready to send. Next up is a cute and fun leopard heart design. Begin by painting your nail pink. Next, use a dotting tool and a darker pink to create a couple big hearts over the nail. Turn these hearts into leopard spots by using a toothpick and black polish. Outline the hearts partially. Make sure to outline the top and the bottom of the heart so that it keeps its shape. Then just add some random spots over the rest of the nail. Finally, finish off with a top coat. Now we have a tiny garden of heart flowers. Begin by painting your nail white. Next, use a small dotting tool to create a heart in the middle of the nail. Then use a toothpick to create a smaller heart on both sides. Use a black striper to draw vertical lines for the stems. Finally, use a toothpick to dot in some leaves. Seal in these pretty flowers with a top coat. 
Another really cute and easy design is pink plaid. Begin by painting your nail pink. Next, use a hot pink striper to draw two vertical lines coming down your nail. Have both hands rested on the table while you do this. Then add in two horizontal ones. The easiest way to do this is by keeping the brush still and slowly rotating the finger you're working on. Finally, paint a red vertical line down the middle of the nail and then a horizontal one across it. Finish off with a top coat. The last design I have to share is a big heart at the tip of the nail. To do this, paint your nail white. Next, use a red polish to outline two big bumps at the tip of your nail. Turn your thumb towards you while you do this for best results. Then fill it in. Once that's dry, use a hot pink polish to create a smaller heart inside the red one by using two strokes like so. And finally, finish off with a top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! You now have 10 Valentine's Day designs to choose from to help spread love in the air. Which design was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to show me your recreations on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram using the hashtag CutePolish. Take care, and I'll see you next time! After so many requests, you guys are finally getting a look at my nail polish room. From designing new nail art to chatting with you guys on Twitter and Instagram, this is where all of the cute polish magic happens. Now that you've seen a 360 of the room, let's take a look at some of my favorite things in it. Hung above my desk, I have a white and crystal chandelier that I got from a local clothing warehouse. It was actually their display item, so when I got it, I needed to shorten the chain, dust it off, and hand polish the crystals on it. It was a great deal. Below the chandelier and desk, I have a fluffy white rug that I got on clearance from HomeSense. I find that rugs really pull a room together and add warmth to hardwood floors. My comfy white chair is from Overstock.com. Notice how most things are white in the room? It's because I wanted the nail polish bottles to pop. My desk and cabinets are all from Ikea, and I've changed all of the knobs on them to crystal ones that I got from my local hardware store. My lamp was also on clearance, but this time it was boxed from that closing warehouse I mentioned earlier. I really love all of the crystals on it and how they catch the sunlight, especially in the morning. And this is the computer I use to create my videos, and on the corner of my desk I have a few little items. The first one is a candle from Bath & Body Works. This one is called Hawaiian Hibiscus and it smells amazing and summery. I also have this little pot of flowers from HomeSense and a little box of cards for taking jot notes. Finally, I have Penelope the Flying Pig from Pure One Imports. My friend and I both have one of these and they're so cute because of their perfect depiction of overcoming impossible odds. Then, one of my favorite things in this room is my recreation frame. I got this picture frame from Pier 1 Imports and I love to display recreations by you guys in it. I seriously love when you share your recreations with me and every so often I print off new ones and switch them up on my wall. If you'd like to share your recreations with me, use the hashtag CutePolish and who knows, maybe it could end up on my wall. On the other side of my room, I have my gold play button award from YouTube. I feel so blessed to be able to share my favorite hobby with you guys, so thank you so much. Now, on to the nail polish. Yes, I have a ton, and no, you don't need this many bottles to enjoy doing nail art. I'm simply in love with polish, and I've been collecting bottles for quite some time now. Here you can see my base and top coats, white polish, iridescent glitters, light pinks, medium pinks, dark pinks, ending with reds. The final shelf has nudes, bronzes, and browns. My middle cabinet holds all of my oranges, yellows, and then I have my light greens and finally my dark greens. The third and last cabinet goes from light blue to dark blue, and then I have all of my lilacs and purples, 
and then some darker purples and plums. Finally, you can see my silvers, silver glitters, grays, and ending with solid black. Beneath the middle cabinet, I have three drawers of nail art supplies, so let's take a look inside them. The first drawer has my Shaney nail art kit with all kinds of little pots of decorations for your nails. I also have some stamping plates, some little containers of microbeads and blocking powder from Michael's Arts and Crafts, Sally Hansen nail polish strips, bandages and reinforcement labels both for Half Moon Mannies, nail art tattoos from my map nail art video, and a little Manny kit from Q-Tips. The middle drawer has all of my Sally Hansen nail art pens, some nail art flowers, pearls, gems, and practice wheels all from eBay. There's also some cotton swabs and cotton balls. Then I have all of my dotting tools, some makeup sponges because you guys know I love to use them for ombre, little containers of studs, glitters, and micro beads, my favorite nail care product which is the Burt's Bees Lemon Cuticle Cream, some toothpicks, tweezers, more studs, and some nail files. Then I have my cuticle pusher, nail art brushes, and crystal nail file. I also have a few Revlon and LA Colors nail art polishes, chalkboard nail art markers, and finally a few midi rings. The bottom drawer contains some less fun stuff I guess. We have bubble white for cleaning and whitening nails with the little bowl that I use with it, cotton browns and cotton balls for removing polish along with a few different bottles of polish remover. I also have a big box of cotton swabs here and Lush's Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. I have a bottle of nail polish thinner and the spray bottle of hand sanitizer that I used when I came up with the idea of water spotting for you guys. I also have a little carrying case for six polishes from OPI. And finally, a purple case full of nail art brushes from Shaney Cosmetics. And that's it for my room tour and nail polish collection. I hope you guys enjoyed a sneak peek of behind the scenes at Cute Polish. I'd love to see your nail polish collection, big or small, so please share it with me using the hashtag MyPolishCollection. Take care guys, and I'll see you next time. Hi guys, it's Cute Polish and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get this really cute and fun nail art design. It's a mix and match nautical style that's perfect for summer. For this look I'll be using a bunch of colors from Formula X which can be found exclusively at Sephora. The first three colors I'm using are from their new summer collection called The Cut. I'll be using Wonderkind, White Matter and Enriched. I'll also be using Pyrotechnic and Out of Sight. And of course I'll be using the cleanser, base coat and top coat from the system. So let's jump right into the tutorial. The first thing I'm going to be doing is removing my old polish. To do this, I'll be using a new product from Formula X called Delete All. Unscrew the lid to find a sponge with five holes in it for your fingers. Place your fingers in and move them back and forth gently to remove the polish. I'm so in love with this product because it removes my polish so easily and quickly. It's great to be able to remove the polish from all five fingers at the same time. And there you go, polish free nails. To start the mani, I'm using the cleanser to remove oils and residue from my nails. Next, I'm adding the base coat over my nails to prolong the life of my mani. Now for the three different designs. The first one is a glitzy gold, so I'm beginning by painting my nails with a gold and bronze polish. After that's dried, I'm layering a chunky gold glitter polish for some sparkle. For the anchor nails, I'm beginning by painting my nails white. Then I'm taking a tiny paintbrush and a red polish and marking off four dots as guidelines for the anchor. Next I'm connecting them, first with a vertical line, and then two curved lines. Finally I'm adding a horizontal line at the very top. The last step with the brush is painting a tiny triangle at both ends of the anchor. Then use a dotting tool to create a red dot at the top, and after that's dried, finish the design with a tiny white one using a toothpick. For the final striped nail, begin by painting the nail white and allow it to completely dry. Next, cut three thin strips of tape and place them horizontally across the nail. Make sure that they're straight and that you press down on the tape securely. Quickly paint a midnight blue or red polish over the nail. Make sure to cover all of the white. Then remove the pieces of tape immediately. 
This will leave you with perfect crisp lines. An easy way to create gorgeous stripes on both hands. Ta-da! Finish off your new nautical mani with a fast drying top coat. This will seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! Mix and match these three designs to create your very own nautical mani. Don't forget to share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish and the hashtag FormulaX. Love you guys so much, take care, and I'll see you next time! This video will show you how to easily create some adorable little bunny rabbits that are perfect for both spring and Easter. So let's get this cute polish design started. Start off with a base coat to protect your natural nails. Next use a white polish to create a half circle on the tip of your nail. Use the polish brush to create two long ears. Finish the ears by using a dotting tool dipped into light pink polish. Create two big brown eyes and a tiny pink nose. Then finish the eyes with two tiny white dots. Finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. And that's it! I really hope you enjoyed learning how to create some really cute bunnies on your nails. Take care, and I'll see you next time!